Hold up, wait a minute. Let's start with build, emblem, and settings for Franco. When I use Franco for a tank, I used support emblem. It helps you to get some extra agility, recovery, and reducing your respawn and battle spell cooldown. And when I use damage type for Franco, prepared using assassin emblem, it will help you to get full damage and kill your target easily. You will achieve the one hook, one kill. Here's my setting when I use Franco. Now, I will show you why my aiming mode is off. Just watch the movement of targeting arrow. Now turn on aiming mode to see the difference. See, the targeting arrow stay on the enemy. This setting is for beginner, not for a pro. For the semi-pro, turn on this aim panning. It helps you to see the vision around the targeting arrow. This setting is only for who want to shore hook and secure the target. But if you want to achieve pro hook, you don't need to use any assisting mode. And before jumping to prediction, tutorial, let me teach you first on how to get free diamonds. Hi, what are you doing lately? Is there any way for me to get some free loads? Because I want to get a new ML skin. You can download Tongets Go. Tongets Go not only can you get free loads, but you can also swap them for rewards like cell phones. But I don't know how to play Tongets Go to get free loads. Don't worry, I can teach you. If you want free load, 100 Ghoster equals 100 load. First, click my download link to register Tongets Go. You are a new player, you can get 20 Ghost Star for free. Second, you can invite players, invite 10 people and you can get 100 Ghoster. Third, you can play games to get Ghoster, such as color games or tournaments. This way you can easily get 100 plus load. Wow, so is it troublesome to redeem load for this game? No trouble, just click the gift button to redeem it. This is the load I got by playing this app. Thanks. I'll click your download link to download Tongets Go now. Okay, I hope you can get the free ML skin like me. In this situation, I see the Chu have a low health. Look his movement, you will see is going to hide on bush, and I think is gonna back on base. So I pointed my hook to the bush that I think near on him. Pay attention in mini map to success your prediction. I'll explain this clip that you already see on intro. As you can see, I can easily hook this Layla. But I'm not that type of player, I always want to challenge myself. Layla still available is Flicker, so I will surprise her using my second skill to get scared. It will force to use Flicker out. See another successful prediction. Reason why I enjoyed playing Mobile Legends. On this clip, I will show you how enemies surprise from hook. You can see the low health of Eve, I think is going to return on base. Best way to make surprise hook is to position on side. 
then don't go over on him, use your flicker to adjust your hook. The design is very freestyle. I'm late with this clash, the enemy still completed. So I decide to retreat, but I have a chance to kill one of them. That's why I'm hiding, to secure the kill. I used my flicker to get near in my tower and far from his teammate. One of my favorite freestyle hook. If the alt is targeting your marksman, go near at him to protect. It also good looking to hook Aldus while he's flying. In this clip, I'm chasing one of enemy because they're so greedy. As you can see, Chu is really want to kill me, but I'm near at my tower and my flicker still available. So I use the flicker out freestyle to kill him. As you can see, Helker activate his ultimate, and I know his targeting, so I pointed my hook to Luo Yi. Don't think twice to make your advanced hook, so your think won't late. In this situation, Franco can multitask too. I used my ultimate from Lancelot, and I see the Julian will go too, so I prepared my hook to him, because I know Lancelot already died. Successful 2v2 clash. I'm waiting for a moment. If their enemies try to kill our mage, I see in the mini map that Vale is the first representative to die. A few moment, Liamord want to revenge for Vale, but I saw his steps, that's why I throw my hook advanced, and flicker out to base to secure the kill. Selena will dash after this stun, of course to escape, always pointing hook from the right, it's accurate for me. Reason why I used Assassin for Franco is because I can kill solo. I can deal the damage without calling some help from my teammate. Franco have no set to get all enemies stunned, so best way to help is to hunt the damage dealer from the enemies. So that the enemies cannot engage the clash because they have minus one. And if you can kill solo, you will die solo too. Here's the problem when you're not good in position and have not a perfect timing to engage. But if you have in good position, you can easily kill silently. I hope you have learned from my short tutorial.